yes, his teammates are taking his side. Mariano Rivera, Andy Pettit. Andy Pettit also admitted to cheating not too long ago. They've taken his side. They say they love him. He's their teammate, and they will support him. How did you feel when here he is up from the minors? He's a journeyman ball player, and he's giving you advice. I played two games and gave it a shot. We won those games, so I, I feel good about that. All, all because of you, <laughs> No, obviously. definitely not. Hey, but oh, for, for whatever. It's okay. <laughs> I know you contributed somehow. A couple weeks away. People who criticize L.A. fans after this crazy experience you've had. They're, they, they're unbelievable. Did you know that you could play at that level when sometimes the numbers didn't show it? The Bruins, tough guys of old, back in action in the Garden, taking on the Rangers. The guys racked up 23 minutes and penalties, but finally they gave the fans here something to cheer about. Do you always get something for making it into the 500 club? What? Oh, no, I, I didn't even know that. Uh, if you've been waiting for it, Jackie, I'm glad we finally got there. <laughs> and Jonathan Quick. Less than a brick wall, more like a hole in the wall, these playoffs. Take it from the Boston Bruins former goalie Tim Thomas. He won the Vesna. Then the next season he stunk, didn't play in the playoffs. Then he won the Vesna and the Stanley Cup. Quick will be fine, no problem. The snow started falling and everyone here could feel something very, very special in the air. There's so many other basketball, football, soccer, all these other sports If you know watch. the players and if you understand the rules, I think it translates great. I love watching hockey but, on TV. But, but even a lot on of HD, people don't agree. Yeah, even on HD, the puck is so small. Yeah. And a lot it of the action... Small, no, 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 but a lot of the glasses, action, right? Jackie... No, sir. Yes? <laughs> yes. But, this is going to be a really bitter pill to swallow for the Bruins. You're right. They fought. They came out the gates with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion, but that did not carry over into a victory as the guys lost a third period lead for the third time in five games. The theme of the last few weeks for this team seems to be rebounding. The Bruins, once again, same story. They're going to look to rebound. They play a Saturday matinee game against the Ottawa Senators. Remember, just Monday, they got killed by the Sens in the Garden 5-1. to one. So we'll see if the guys can get their minds right and get back in the win column. That's all from the Garden. I'll be back here at 1 a.m. For now, back to you guys in the studio. All right, thanks to Jackie Pepper live tonight at the guard. What was the biggest improvement you tried to make in the offseason for you personally? I cut my hair. Nice cut. Thanks. It's pretty awesome answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to welcome you to the new season. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, uh, I'm 33. I don't know how much uh, improving I have. I'm here at the LA Sports Fans Choice Awards, catching up with former NBA players, talking about Magic Johnson. It's the 20 year anniversary of his stunning HIV announcement, and we wanted to get their opinion on what it was like to live through it back then, and what it's like revisiting it now. And Carl Malone delivers all of his phone calls on a flip phone. To know the mailman is to love the mailman. I interviewed him once and he told me that in 1992, when he landed and got off the plane in Barcelona, it looked just like Southern Utah. God bless him. With a steal towards an end, wrist shot score. He got a step on Weidman to make it 1-0 Buffalo. From boo birds to a chorus of cheers, Dennis Weidman's redemption song finally played loud and clear, reverberating throughout the garden Thursday night. Yeah, I mean, obviously it feels a lot better to get cheered for it than to get booed, but I just have to, you know, prove to them that, that you know, that I can still play and I still want to win. Yeah, very happy for him. It was a big goal for us. I mean, it's a huge goal for us. And, you know, he's played very well of late and, you know, he's been asked to really step up and he has. Better as of late, but the season as a whole has been one Weidman would like to forget. His numbers way down from a year ago when he was second in the league among defensemen with a plus 32 rating. This year, Weidman a minus 15. His play has drawn the ire of fans, the media, and his coach. He should be a top two, easily top two, three at worst defenseman for us, and he's not close to that right now. It doesn't matter how badly Dennis Weidman sucks, he keeps getting put it out there. Dennis Weidman can't catch a break. This one goes in off of Weidman, off his foot. Playing six on four out there, my friend. Yeah, basically. Three points in the last three games coming better late than never for Weidman, who's taken his fair share of the blame for the B's struggles this season. He's a big part of our team, especially with Stu and uh, Seidenberg going down. Uh, you know, we need him uh, to raise his game to another level, and uh, he's more than capable of doing that, and uh, we trust that he will. When times get tough, Weidman can always turn to his teammates to pick him up. I think he knows the... the, the players have his back in the dressing room and which is the most important thing and and uh, you know and he's showing it by going out there and playing well. If he keeps it up maybe the fans will have Weidman's back too. For Comcast Sportsnet I'm Jackie Pepper.